Hello, how are you today? Welcome back to our video podcast and on this episode I'm going to talk about tips for improving your presentation delivery. <coughs> Now, the first problem that presenter often face before doing presentation is nervousness. Now, being nervous is normal. That means you are psyched up for your presentation. But To be able to deliver your presentation successfully, you should be able to control your nervousness. And you can do that by making yourself familiar with your audience. So, if the audience is your friends or your colleagues, you probably have no problem because you already know them, they already know you, so there is no need for introduction. But if you are doing presentation in front of people that you haven't met before, big audience full of strangers then the tip that you can apply is building good rapport with your audience now usually before you do presentation you still have a little time for you to get to know your audience so use that time having a chat doing small conversation with your audience by doing small conversation with them you are able you are you are going to establish good rapport with your audience. It's your first time to meet them. It's also the first time for them to see you. However, having a small conversation before the presentation will help reduce the tension. So when you go on stage to do your presentation, you don't feel nervous anymore because you are doing presentation in front of people that you already know. So. Come early when you do presentation. If you do presentation at 9, come at 8.30. So you have time to prepare yourself, prepare your presentation, and you still have time to do small conversation with your audience. <clears throat> and then, give outline in your presentation. As I have taught before in our classroom, when you want to give outline in presentation, you can make it like, There are three things I'd like to talk about. Or this, pre- this presentation is going to discuss the three benefits. Or we're going to learn some benefits or some problems with our products. That's outline. Giving an outline to your audience help them to understand what your presentation is going to be. And then show Patient. When you do presentation, you have to be lively. Express yourself. Show your facial expression, your body language. If the topic is serious, you have to be serious. When the topic is happy, you deliver it excitedly. So be passionate. Don't be stiff. Don't don't slouch. Make yourself as lively as possible. You are a presenter. You are, you are also an actor. And then, when you do presentation, make every slide visual. So don't just fill slide with text, text, and text only. Combine text with picture. That way, your audience will not be bored. So instead of reading sentence by sentence, your audience can also read. The, the audience can also look at pictures or even video. Now, to help you delivering presentation, you first need to craft your speech. Writing down speech for presentation can be troublesome. So, you need to know what is the essential point of your presentation. You can do this by taking a business card. The 15 words rule. Write what you are going to talk about in your presentation in just 15 words. Or, use the back of the business card to write what your presentation is going to be. If you can do that, you will not have problem in developing your ideas for your presentation speech. So, instead of using small empty piece of paper, use small business card. If you can summarize your presentation in just 15 words, 
that's great. The rest will be just a, will be just about adding details. The next tip, know the room. It is very important for you as presenter to know where you're going to do your presentation. You need to know whether you are going to present in a small room or in a big room. Is the room is going to be full of people or your audience is going to be small? What about the equipment? What equipment are you going to use? Are you going to use your laptop? Do you need to bring your projector? If there is a projector in the room, then you need to know how to use the projector. So familiarize yourself with the room setting. That way, you know how to deliver your presentation appropriately. You know whether you can move around or not. You know how to work out problem with projector or with the laptop. Try out the equipment. That's why it is very important for you to come early. If your presentation is at 7, you have to come at 6.30. If your presentation is at 8, you have to come at 8.30. So know the room. Surveillance. Start strong. <clears throat> the first three minutes is the most important part of your presentation. Make it as good as possible. Your attention, the attention of your audience is greatest at the opening and at the closing. So, 30, the first three minutes is very valuable for you as presenter. You need to make them excited. You need to make them passionate with your presentation in the first three minutes. If you can make them attracted to your presentation in the first three minutes, then you will not have problem in keeping their attention for the rest of your presentation. Don't ramble in the, in the introduction. Just start with the speech that you have prepared. Introduction is good, but you need to remember, you probably don't have much time for a presentation. So if you only get 10 minutes to do your presentation, then give two minutes for the introduction. If you do make mistake in your presentation, correct the mistake, but don't apologize too often. If you make mistake in grammar or in pronunciation, that's okay, but you don't need to apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. If you keep doing that all the time, that will be boring. Your audience will not like it. So make sure don't make mistake. And if you do make mistake, just correct the mistake and get on with your presentation. Keep it short. Your audience attention is greatest at the opening and at the closing. So make sure your presentation is short. But it depends on time allotment. If you get 15 minutes for the presentation, finish it in 10 minutes. If you get 20 minutes, finish it in 15 minutes. You need to do that because the most interesting part of the presentation is actually in the discussion. And the discussion is after the presentation. So no one complains on short presentation. Remember that. Nobody complain on short presentation. So make your presentation quick and efficient. And you can dis discuss all the details in the Q&A. These days, a presenter should be mobile. That means you cannot just stand in one place all the time. So don't stand close to your laptop from the beginning to the end or stand close to the screen from the beginning to the end. Move around the room. Get close with your audience. Interact with them. That's how you build connection. Don't be shy. Don't be, don't be nervous. Even if the audience are strangers, you need to move around because moving around will create a dynamic appearance on you. Your audience will think that you are a dynamic person. And besides, moving around actually helps you to ease nervousness. If you stand still in one place, you will be more likely to be nervous. But if you move around, when you move around, you are reducing 
your nervousness. You are reducing your tension. And the benefit of that, you can get close to your audience. You can engage them personally. Now, mobile means mastering the room. So, back to our first tip, that is know the room. After you know the room, you need to master the room. So, when, by knowing the room, you can create or design how you are going to move around the room. Maybe you can start by going close to your audience. And then you get close to the screen. And then you move to the other side of the screen and you move forward. You get close to your audience and then you move to the center. So this is an example of how you move around the room. Using humor is good. Humor can break the ice, especially good for the opening of presentation. Make your audience laugh. But remember, you need to be serious. Whatever the topic of a presentation, you should remember that joke is only an insert in your presentation. But it's not, it shouldn't be the whole point of your presentation. Use body language. You are a presenter. You have to be fluid. You have to be mobile. You have to be dynamic. Show your patient from your face, express your feeling in your face, in your eyes, move your hands, make gestures, synchronize your facial expression and body language with the topic of your presentation. That way you can engage your audience and you can make your presentation interesting. So your presentation is actually a package of you slideshow and the message. To be able to move around the room, you will need remote control device. This is great because using remote control device allow you to move freely around the room. You don't need to be close to your laptop or screen. And then with, you free, uh, with remote control, you are able to express yourself through body language, active body language, and besides, this remote control allows you to move your slides anytime you like. You can advance forward or you can return to the previous slides, of course, because you can move around, you can get close to your audience. Occasionally, during presentation, you want your audience to focus on you. Now, this is very good for you to remember. Press B to make the screen of your laptop black. Or press W to make the screen white. Now, pressing the B or the W will create a blank screen. That way, your audience will focus on you. And then you deliver your speech. And when you're ready, you can press W and continue with your slides. So the B and W key is very useful when you want to, to give monologue to your audience. Room lighting. Well, these days you don't really need to turn off the, the light in a room because the technology has made projector so good that it is able to project screen clearly and brightly on the wall. So you don't need to turn off the light. Besides, by keeping the lights on, you make your audience able to look at you during your presentation. Eye contact. Eye contact is very important. Never hesitate making eye contact. You are the presenter. Your audience is looking at you. So you should also look at them. Throughout your presentation, don't turn your back. Always show open posture. When you look at your audience, don't scan them. Look at them intently. Look at everyone in the room for three seconds. Three seconds, three seconds. So look at everyone in the room, three seconds. 
every person. Give three seconds look. Of course, you need to smile at the beginning and at the end of your presentation. So, about making eye contact. This is the golden rule of the eye contact. When you make eye contact, you just focus on the triangle. You don't really need to look at the audience in the eyes. You can look at the forehead or the nose or the cheek. They will not be able to tell the difference. When someone is looking at you, you cannot tell whether that person is looking at your eyes or at your mouth. So do the same thing. Look at, look at the eyes, make eye contact. And remember this golden rule of looking at the person's face. If you are doing presentation in a big room with a lot of people, then you need, you need to break down the room into three areas. So you can start first with your rights, the right side of yourself. And then you make eye contact to the left side. After that, you give your attention to people in the middle. And don't forget to give your attention making eye contact with people in the back. So that's how you work out the room. Making eye contact in big room and small room is not that difficult. All you have to do is look at the audience directly and don't scan. Apply the three seconds rule. Finally, successful presentation depends a lot on preparation. So rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Rehearsing helps you to master your presentation. By rehearsing, you are going to be able to deliver your presentation without having to read any hand note because after doing so many rehearsals with your presentation, I estimate that you're able to master at least 80% of your presentation. Now, by doing rehearsal, you are able to synchronize the speech and your slides. So you know when you have to move your slide, when you have to pause, because you have rehearsed your presentation many times. So don't be embarrassed, prepare your slideshow. When you are finished, rehearse your speech. Do it many times, again and again. Once is not enough, twice is not enough. You have to do it until you are one part with your presentation. Of course, by doing rehearsal, you are able to create the body language that you are going to project during your presentation. Are you going to be excited? Are you going to be serious? How you move your hands, how you look at your audience, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. And finally, by doing rehearsals, you are going to be able to achieve smooth presentation. So, that's for my discussion on delivering the delivery of presentation. We'll meet again in our next video podcast.